So recently, Adrian Browner tried to shoot his shot lightly by inviting Corla Ray to come to his next fight on her Instagram Live. And this is how she responded to him. Trying to bag me on an Instagram Live is crazy. Like, that ass. Get the f*** on. Okay? Go on the f*** it. Okay? I'm not interested. Like, that's f corny. The f***? What are we doing here? I'm going. I'm getting the f*** off. Go, go look at my post. I'm about to post my cover. Bye, y'all. And so my first reaction is like, baby girl, why, why you got to do all that? Is is it necessary to do all that? Like, you really feeling yourself, huh? But would you be feeling yourself if you took that Halloween costume you got on off your face, right? As you sitting there planning your fake hair. You took that wig off and took that caked up makeup off your face because it is caked up. I don't know if it's the makeup or if it's the makeup plus the filter or if it's just a filter. You Like, snatch them veneers off your teeth. I'm just saying, man, like, would, would you have, would you talk with the same confidence? I can speak with confidence with my crooked teeth. I show them, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter to me. It is what it is. I'm just saying, why, like, why is it necessary for women? Like, out of all the comments, she chose to go at him because he Adrian Browner. Like, she ain't, she ain't say nothing to nobody else's comments. I'm sure she had a thousand fire emojis. Googly eyes, all of that, trying to get at her. You know what I'm saying? She ignored everybody else. But then Adrian Brown, hey, come to my fight. Which, I mean, whatever. Call it corny or call it not or whatever. My man did what he shot his shot. However you want to feel about it. But this is what I'm saying. Like, women be having this. Y'all get this rush. And this ain't just famous women. This is like regular women too. Like y'all get the, it seems like y'all get this rush of, of uh, the dopamine hit that we call it from like being as brutal as you can be in the process of turning a man down. Like you come out, like y'all come out the house wearing some of the most skimpy outfits and this, that, and the other. And it wasn't like she was clapping her cheeks all on her Instagram live. But she does this, though. She she is a a thirsty little, you know what I'm saying? Like, attention seeker as well. Like, we, we constantly see <laughs> Coyle Ray and her little skinny cheeks clapping every which way on the intro net, right? So she loves the attention. But it's it's like it, the thing with women is like y'all y'all like everyday women y'all come out the house makeup up wigged up caked up you know right you know what I'm saying booty shorts cheeks hanging out titties out and then when dudes speak to you it's like you 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 it's the it's the Olympics as far as y'all want to break a record as far as how evil y'all can be. In turning this man down. Like all he said was, Oh, you look beautiful or something. You know what I'm saying? You can say the simplest thing to a woman. Don't play like you squoze into them jeans to not get no attention. Okay? Just let's not play that game. Let's not play like you didn't put that weave on and them eyelashes and all that caked up makeup on and put them booty shorts on and had titties squoze together like that just so you could get no attention. So all I'm saying is, listen, when you put the bait out there, you can't really choose what's going to bite. You're going to get attention from every which way. So let's let's get that understood. And you knew that coming out the house. So why do y'all put on all this stuff, dress the way you dress, then to only get full attitude when you get a compliment from a dude or you get a dude try to talk to you, but it ain't the dude that you want. Cause you know if it's the dude in the Lamborghini, y'all y'all be all open. You know what I'm saying? I just be wondering, like, what, what we on y'all mind, man? Like, I, I I do get it. Y'all get approached by a lot of men all the time, but and it can be tiring. So I I get that point, but it still is like you ask for this attention when y'all go about doing things to seek attention when you put on the clothes that you put on and come out the house 
You can't pick who's going to say something to you. It ain't just going to be the dudes in the Lamborghinis that's saying something to you. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, Corla Ray cho chose to um, go hard on Adrian Browner because it's Adrian Browner because she knew it was going to be like that much more of a, eh. you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let me shut him down. He's so goofy for this, that, and that. Like, man, just say no thank you and keep it moving. Or don't say nothing like you said to the, all the thousand other comments that you had. But after she got a little backlash, from people like, why you have to go at my man like that? Then she like, oh, wasn't trying to be harsh. However, I hope he wins this fight in May or whatever. Now you, now you feeling the sting of a bunch of internet folks getting on your head. Now you, oh, wasn't trying to be harsh. Okay. And then somebody else uh, put up, I feel you. You know how the internet twist ish. And she gonna respond to that. Oh, this ish ain't that ain't nothing new. Oh well. Oh, now, now we twisted your words? Now we twisted your words? Ain't nobody twist your words. You said exactly what you wanted to say. And that's how you responded. But I'm just saying, like, like look, like this. When we get brutal and harsh on y'all, y'all have a fit. I mean, look at how everybody responded to the Kevin Samuels interview years ago. Uh, the year six at best. Uh, he... Everybody remembers that part, but y'all forgot all the time that led up to that, where he like, ma'am, I understand you make money, but, you know, you might be six figures, but the other man that makes six figures, your money don't matter as much to them. I know you got a degree, men that, once again, that make that kind of money in that type of tax bracket, they don't too much care about your degree. They do, however, care about how many kids you say you got. And then he's trying to <laughs> say what I said earlier in the video. Like, you have an air of confidence and you keep but this, but that. And this air of confidence about yourself that comes from that makeup and the wigs that y'all be wearing. And she kept, but, but, but I do this and I got a degree and I did, and, and I feel like, okay, man, I'm just going to tell you, listen, you're a six at best. And then when you say it like that, then uh, every woman on earth is offended. But listen, I've been trying, he was trying to tell you in the nicest way possible that what you have to offer may not be enough. For that caliber of men. Ladies, y'all tell us this all the time. You tell us how dusty we is. How broke we is. How ugly we is. How short we is. How fat our guts is. Right? But mostly. How broke and dusty we is. Right? And we have to take it in stride. And just go get our money up. Because we know. The, the ironic part of <laughs> <laughs> about the truth that men know men know that we, it's it's so crazy like we got to go get we got to go become we got to go and make six figures just to mess with a broke chick because some of y'all's reality is so inflated you you got to go make six figures just to be acceptable to a chick that make thirty thousand a year Cause that's how inflated her head is. Like y'all lose your mind when it, when we tell y'all the truth, but y'all find it very easy to go off on us. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, a lot of I mean, <laughs> it's a thing with me. I'm sure you know what I'm saying. So it's a thing with me. I don't know what it is about the big girls. Big girls like your boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They get aggressive too. They be, <coughs> you want to rub all on your butt? Ugh, what's your name? You know what I'm saying? Want to rub on your nuts? Hey, hold on. What did you do? Chill out, Bertha. Huh? <laughs> and, and I be nice. I be nice because I used to mess. I used to roll around with the big girl. I don't do it no more though, yo. <laughs> 
had to get my life together. But look, if I backslide, don't be running up on me on public trying to shame us, okay? No, nah, I'm through. But let us be if you see me, though. But no. Nah. I be nice. I play along, but I don't be mean. But I, it's like, I, ladies would feel some type of way if, if the fellas were to be as mean as ladies were to us. Because y'all do us any type of way. Y'all just take us down through the ringer in the rejection. Y'all treat it like, a, like the Olympics or something. Like you trying to break a record, like I said, for how bad you can reject a dude. And I'm just saying it's not that necessary. Like, just say no thank you, keep it moving. Call it a day. All the extra attitude and all of that, it's not needed. It's not necessary. And it's not a good look. But this your boy Pete Camp. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.